Okay. So this is 2020. Now tell me okay, again, how I, old are you? I think I was probably 10 or 11. I had taken music just for one year and was already the next year playing for the Millersburg Second Christian Church. My piano teachers was Charles H. Bramlett. And you, so you were 10 or 11. And how old are you now? 77. So 67 years you've been playing for churches. Mm -hmm. What about you, Miss Letitia? I started playing the piano at five. Uh, ladies, I was having this Pearl Blackman. She lived on 4th Street, right across the Catholic Church. And Mrs. Elba went home to have her son, Gilbert Watkins, and I was nine years old, and I played for service. At what church? Quinn Chapel. In the church of Lexington. You started playing for Quinn Chapel at nine? Mm -hmm. I played for the whole service. And you'll be, you'll be 87 this year. Yes. So. And um, how much were your piano lessons? 50 cents, 75. Uh, okay, I think mine was 70, my piano lessons were 70. It went up. <laughs> <laughs> Took them at lunchtime. It's, um, and what about you? So. I started piano when I was in fourth grade. Fourth grade. That's only three fingers. I don't, <laughs> don't trust me. Okay. My grandmother, Mrs. Annie Elizabeth Foote, started me out in fourth grade. She played with her church for 47 years. Then she taught me what she could. My other grandmother, Mrs. Fenton Little, she was a registered nurse in Memphis. She paid for my lessons with another private teacher. My lessons were a dollar twenty-five cents piano, two fifty for organ. That was the Catholic school, Catholic church, Kentucky State. Came here. I started my first choir under Marion Rogers' leadership at Corinthian Baptist Church in Frankfurt. I had my first choir was a youth choir there. And that's why I started playing for choirs in my junior year in, in college, K State. So, and so, um, how old were you, you said, you said, when you started playing for the church? Playing for the church. I was in eighth grade when I started playing for the Catholic Church. So, nine, I was in fourth, nine, eight, about 13. About 13. 13 years old when I started playing. And you'll be 71 this coming year. Oh, yeah. So, nine, 2020, I'll be. <laughs> 71. <laughs> we try to get the years straight. I confused myself, yeah. Okay. So y'all met uh, in Frankfurt. Yes. When did y'all meet Miss Letitia? <laughs> That's a good one. No, I, I met her at Kentucky State. She uh, had returned to college. And uh, I was... Yeah. What, to do your master's? No. Oh, you, do you finish your, finish your bachelor's? Did, did okay. Your bachelor's. And that's where I met, because I was just always so amazed among the... Other, there were other good musicians, but when Carl Smith would pull out this um, requiem or whatever uh, we were going to work on that would take most people six months to practice on, she was just sitting there just reading it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, Baker, when I came back after eight years, six years, he told me, when I came back, uh, Mr. Baker told me, that's your accompanist. I wasn't there, I had five years then, traveling back and forth from Lexington. Wow. And when did you meet Miss Letitia? I heard her yeah, probably in the 70s. I, I told you this before. I, I heard her play um, music for like banquets and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. I never did anything like that. But I heard her do it. Just playing probably people eight. And I said, I can do that. And just when I seen her do it, I've been doing it for the last 120 years. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we also met it too. You were the band teacher. Oh, yeah. We, uh, I was yeah. Vocal, I'm sorry. Doing music. Back it up. My first year teacher in 1971, mm -hmm. I was the band director assistant for Takes Free Junior High. I was take assistant band director for Takes Free Senior High, band director for, band director for Takes Free Junior High, band director for Lansdowne Elementary and Breckenridge Elementary. And the teacher was at Takes Free Junior High. No, Bre Breckenridge oh, Elementary. Breckenridge Elementary, that's where mm -hmm. I met her. Back in 1971, 72, since Lucy mm -hmm. was around there. I'm, I met Miss Leticia. What year did Stuart Beatty die? 2000, 2000, 2000. I met, so I would have been. Almost 20 years this mm -hmm. month. I would have been 16 or 15. Uh, I was 15 then, and I met Miss Letitia because all the musicians were honorary pallbearers. We gathered in the choir room at Shiloh. Yeah. And I went in, and I, had, I was real short then and real shy. And I walked in, and Miss Letitia said, you must be Landon Wilson. And I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and she gave me her business card, and she said, I've been hearing a lot about you, and we're so proud of you. And if you need anything, you call me. She said, look me up in the phone book under my maiden name. And I won't, I won't say on video why she said, look under her maiden name. <laughs> 
it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, she, right, you see the queen says, be quiet. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. oh, but it's, it's, it's been, I've learned so much from both of them, even though I know this. I really have, and they could contributed to my what, music ability as far as gospel and the, and the repertoire music. I've got from these two. Mm -hmm. Because in my church and environment I had been in that, that I didn't get it there. And mm -hmm. so I was always out there with mm -hmm. these two. Yeah. That's just one of the fellows. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, she is. always hit, every time we'd hang out, Mrs. Sisha always said it was just, uh, it was me and my fellas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I think most of us, people think of us like that too. Mm. Yeah. They really do. Mm -hmm. Like, well, y'all gone, what's going on? You know, and we've on? always shared and learned from each other. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. It's not the fact that you can't be told or mm -hmm. suggested to, mm -hmm. but we've always shared and learned from each other. You told me. We passed so much music around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you told me uh, once, Maestro, you said when you first started playing for Main Street a thousand years ago, uh, right after the crucifixion. Uh, <laughs> Don't full tell them why we joked about that. How much did you tell me you were making a service? Forty something. You said it was something like when you came in, it was every rehearsal, like every service or something like I that. I don't remember telling you that, but uh, apparently I did. <laughs> you told um, me we were paid per service and per rehearsal, and I want to think it was like seven dollars per rehearsal, and I don't remember per service. Uh -huh that we were paid. And then uh, when the administration at the church changed, it went into a, um, uh, a base salary. Okay. Yeah, I remember you told me it was like per rehearsal and per yeah, service. It was, yeah, it was per doing that my very early years at Main Street. Wow. Mm -hmm. You've been at Main Street now 40? Probably 43 years. I always have to check with Joyce. I've been there a year and a half. She's been there a year and a half longer than I have. Okay. Mm. I was there um, playing. I went there to play for Young Adult Day. I played for it and I just kept hanging around and then Pastor Baker came as pastor. So mm. whatever year he came as pastor, I've been there <laughs> January that much longer than, than he was. That's kind of how I remember because I started under Reverend Beverly, and then he retired that year, and Daddy became the interim pastor. And the next year, Daddy became the senior pastor. And the year after that, I got promoted to minister of music. Mm -hmm. So I joke with him that I worked for the church longer than he did. Because <laughs> I got hired six months earlier. <laughs> he came in October, I started in April. <laughs> well, I think I started at the same school too. I live right now in Company Church, but I was always late. So they paid me a dollar Sunday. And they told me if I didn't be on time, they were going to pay me. <laughs> so he was always I'm late. I got to get fired. <laughs> so I made it that way. Oh, man. <laughs> so what churches in Lexington have y'all played for? Mm. What churches have we not played for? Uh, well, let's just say, not relief, but on staff. In the well, Lexington well, area. Because you did most of your career at, at uh, Quinn Chapel, right? And consolidated. I was on staff at uh, Shallow Missionary Baptist Church, Jimtown United Methodist Church, Wesley United Methodist Church, uh, Antioch uh, Baptist Church, St. John Avenue Church, and Franklin is my home church now. I think that's all of them. Okay. And I've only been on staff at Main Street uh, as far as Le the Lexington area goes. But in so, Paris and Frankfurt. Oh, uh, no, in Mille Paris. Mille. You know, I played at Millville. Um, <laughs> they would meet me as soon as I was at First Corinthian Baptist Church in Frankfurt. As soon as that service was over, somebody was there to pick me up and get me to Millville for their 
service. And if, if you've ever been to Millville, that's an experience going out there. Mm -hmm, it's a fun uh, drive. And of course, growing up, I was um, uh, birth, saved, and everything, what else, in the um, uh, Millersburg Second Christian Church. Okay. And uh, then I played for a church in pairs. You're really interdenominational. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I, I, and I've had people that ask me what church I belong to because I played for funerals mm -hmm. all over Lexington. Yeah. And they see me there, and then they went, "Now, what church do you belong to?" If they think it's me, they may think I'm. They talking to him. <laughs> we get it all the time. <laughs> they call me. Barry would be on TV on Sunday morning. My TV show would be going during the week. And they know that my name is Mary Rogers. My name is Charles Little. <laughs> so they would address him as Mr. Little and me, Mr. Rogers. And used to be time, we would say, I, I, I'm not Mr. Rogers. Right. Charles. But they, done, they did it so much through the years. Mm -hmm. We just now they say, Hi, Mr. Rogers. How you doing? Yeah, <laughs> right. oh, I'm you know, glad I'm I didn't get mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> they always uh, miss me the uh, Macedonia King. Oh. About half year, a year, back in the early 70s. Okay. Oh, I played with Gun Tabernacle. Where? <laughs> they closed uh, now. They combined with Andrew and Mick Wesley. Got it. That's behind that. the lyric thing? Yeah, down there. That used to be Gun down Street there. Right behind. Gun yeah. Okay. I played for, you said they combined uh, with Asbury and made Wesley yeah, United? Uh -huh. Okay. I also played for Young Adults at First, first Baptist. First African. When it was downtown. First Baptist, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. The old First Baptist. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, I played for East Second Street. Okay, I played for East Second Street. Yeah. Well, I forgot. I played for East Second Street. The young adult. I was gonna say I thought you played for East Second Street. There, young adult. Why? I don't know. Yeah. And I think during that time was when I was first at Main Street. I had assigned Sundays to play, and the Sundays that I was not at Main Street, I would go to East Second Street and play for the young adults. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to do the math real quick so we can figure this out. So you started when you were 10 and you'll be 77 this year. And you started when you were 9 and you'll be 87 this year. So that's how many was it? 70. What did I say? 70, 87. You about 78? 78. I don't know why I confused myself because I'm looking at the other number. And you started when you were about 14. I started playing when I was about 13 years old. 13 years old. I would be 71 in 2020. So that's 58. So that's 203 years of playing for church between the three of you. Mm. Wow. We got some more years to go in anyway. there. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to roll me up into the piano. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I never, I never forget uh, when you filled in for me, Miss Letitia, at First African one week. It was when your, um, when you, I think your myeloma had just kind of started mm -hmm. acting up again, and you called and said, "Now nah, I've got chemo in the afternoon, but I'll still make rehearsal." <laughs> He said, just, he said, I'll be there. And I'm like, I can't get my folk to get to rehearsal. And, and hey, they feeling fine. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh.
Thank you.